Okay, this is uh, Steven and Allison Martin's uh, 2007 Sebring. We're looking at the remote start installed by Bill Harris in Ashland, Ohio. Um, didn't do a very good job, and I'm going to show you what they did. All right, for starters, we've got these two wires here that go down off into uh, some place. But you can see the connection they made right here. They wrapped it in electrical tape. Uh, and then the cables are just draped down here so then they can just be caught by who knows what and get ripped out. So that's first thing. Um, second thing here, this fuse block, it's just laying there. I guess they couldn't afford wire. Um, ground wire, they just goes back into wherever on this gray cable right here comes up and over lays on the hot intake comes down and it's spliced in here as well wrapped in electrical tape uh, I don't know about you people out there but electrical tape is not waterproof it's not a watertight connection Right. So that's what I found so far. Um, <clears throat> kind of scared to look inside the fuse box in here. See how they tapped in, but uh, I'm going to open it up. Okay, we're back. Uh, as you can see, I opened this up and I lifted, lifted this up. And underneath, I found this. Looks like a relay. Some connections. Apparently, they weren't going to use this. And uh, oh, that look at right there. That's another great connection right there. And uh, I've got this gray cable um, that comes down down here. And you see right there. You can see it there. There's more electrical tape. See if I can get my hand down in there and videotape this. Get that raised up. See that electrical tape? Yeah. Yeah. That's not very cool. I'm not sure where that goes. So that's that. Now we're going to go inside the cab, see what I can find. Alright, so here we are inside the cab driver's side you can see the pedals We've got a light here so we can kind of see what's going on all right if we look up here right there turn the light here see if that'll help all right so right here we have a connection of some sort with more electrical tape. Um, I'm not sure what's under it. And then all these wires that went to something somehow, they were just all stuffed up on top. They weren't really secured or put in place like they like they should have been. They weren't well, it wasn't done right. Okay, so here we are still on the uh floor of the driver's side. Um made another discovery it's kind of tight down here so bear with me I'm trying to run the camera in the light at the same time okay if everyone if you look up here that box is right here box looking thing um turn okay this right here right here they cut away this plastic to bring the wires in so all those those cables we didn't that just disappeared that went someplace well they come through the firewall right here um and then uh I can't tell if that cut out, if he made the cut out of that knockout or if that was the way it is. Uh, looks like there's 
raw metal um, on that edge so it looks to be fresh like a new knockout or a cutout maybe um, I don't know if he cut it out or knocked it out but anyhow so we got metal sharp sheet metal and wires um, just laying on it and then their solution their solution for uh, fixing this and making the problem go away was just to take the piece of plastic that they cut out you can see here right here on this edge where it's been cut um, so they just tuck this like this this uh, little cover here and uh, you know they just kind of stuffed it back on kind of like that and oh yep the problems it, it, it went away no not really uh, so yeah there's another big no-no <clears throat> okay so after some more investigation um, looking around I decided to come check out this connection well uh, it's kind of getting fuzzy here I rolled back the electrical tape and the connection's not even soldered. It's just aluminum wire and copper wire rolled together and then electrical tape. Totally unacceptable. Um, so if that connection's like that, I will have to make the assumption that every other connection is like that. One there, one there. <clears throat> right here on the coil. The ground connection. This, this connection down here, and then all the connections that are made inside the cab. Totally unacceptable. Bill Harris dropped the ball. I can't believe what I'm seeing from a quote unquote top star dealership install. Yeah. This uh, pack right here, this right here, this is all, all this goes underneath the uh, fuse box. Apparently it was an inconvenience to mount it outside um, you know where you could see it or maybe do something with this fuse block here you know it could probably be mounted someplace a little nicer a little better perhaps a different style of fuse block um, you know something that gets mounted hard mount maybe something alright I'll be posting this. Thank you.